Hello YouTube, we're back. Remember we changed the valve cover? You wanna go turn the car on so we can show them that it doesn't make that terrible, terrible sound. Let's see how she turned on. She's been sitting probably for like three or four days. We don't wanna drive it because the brake master cylinder. Start her back up. There's that. People said the valve need to be um, adjusted because of how it starts up. I hear you in the timing chain. I hear you guys. I, I'll look into doing that, but I just wanted to show you that it's no longer making that sh crazy ass sound that it was making at the last, the end of the last video. All right, go ahead and feel it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to be um, changing the brake master cylinder. You can see down there. I'm see so I can. Okay, so as you can see, it's leaking from inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all cruddy right there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. There's four bolts in the front, four bolts in the front, two brake lines, and that's it. So we have to figure out. I I know we have some brake line wrenches here, and then that s socket set. Yeah. So we're using OEM, OE, original equipment manufacturer. Yeah. We're gonna get all our stuff together or whatever we're gonna do, and then we'll get started. So there it is, it's a 12. There's, oh, it's a 10, look at, brake line 10. Mm. It's right there. Oh. Okay, so we are here working on the freaking Celica. Trying to figure out what size the the ones the nuts attached to the brake booster are right now. I make Katie do all the work because I'm lazy. What? <laughs> no, I'll do stuff too. <laughs> but for real, it shouldn't be too hard. We're probably gonna get like a, a rip towel to put underneath this to prevent brake fluid from going everywhere. What do you guys think of the valve cover? Ooh. And no, we still haven't put a bolt there yet, which is dumb. Can you see it? You see it right there. It's exactly like in the middle right there. It's a 12? All right, then. Oh, I think I'm tight. Do not. Okay. <laughs> just, just break them all loose. Don't take them off yet. Okay. Because we got to do the brake lines. I just wanted to figure out which ones are which. Three or two? There's okay. four. Because oh. there's two on the other side, too. Got it. There's a dog. Okay, so hopefully I don't run into this shit. Oh, no strippers here, my friend. I don't know what the hell that voice was. I should not do that ever again. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get in a position where I can hit it with a hammer. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Oh, lefty loose. Righty tighty, lefty loose. God damn it. Could have been potentially really bad. <laughs> is it looking bright on the camera? Or does it look dark? No, that's pretty good. Okay. I'm working on the settings. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, you viewers. I'm trying to get it so it's more... More better. <laughs> more better. Sorry about my grammar. So we got the first brake line off. It kept spinning and spinning and spinning. We didn't know why. It's because it was off, but we just couldn't pull it off because the brake lines are rigid and it just held it in place. So now we're doing the other one, and then we're going to do the four bolts on the back of the master cylinder to get the whole thing off. Okay, two brake lines are off. Now we're taking the actual sil master cylinder itself off. And I snuggled the master cylinder. We also noticed that the reservoir for the slave cylinder seems to be brand new, so we're kind of hoping that the the clutch master or the slave cylinder was recently replaced before us is it look at that that looks like brand new but yeah i'll update you when we get these four nuts off because i'm sure you don't want to just watch us do that get them nuts off whoa <laughs> katie got those off and now i am going to take off this heat shield and paint it enamel enamel black and we got to pull this thing off right now so next this little harness just the one on the right I, we pulled out this one, and this one is pretty, pretty disgusting. Uh, you can obviously see that the rear of it is leaking really bad, and on where she's cleaning it right now, where she's cleaning it right now was just covered. It look, it's still so gunky. I'm surprised the brake booster's still good, but it is because vacuum brakes. We're well, cool. We'll clean that up and go back at it. Okay, so this is the heat shield. Got that off really quickly. Katie is rubbing it down with engine degreaser and uh, steel wool, and we are gonna paint it an uh, engine enamel black after primering it with 2000 degree primer or whatever the hell. We'll show you. It's not perfect, it's aluminum, it's definitely got pitting and there's some st parts where it's com stuff is completely baked on. I think it's old oil, but we're gonna put, we're gonna send it. It's gonna look better than it was before anyways. So whatever, as long as it doesn't look too like tacky or ricery. Trying to go for like OEM spec, you know, clean. Katie's about to prime this. Cool. Prime time. Flipper. Mm 
Okay, we good? We good, let it dry. It's rev matching. Okay, here comes the enamel, the engine enamel. <laughs> the camera just like, it turns into like a black blob, you can't see anything. <laughs> it just looks like, like a puddle. <laughs> Emma tucks her toes in because it's cold. What have you done? New master cylinder. We're gonna put RTV because we don't have a new paper gasket for the back. And people on the internet basically just said to use RTV. Some people use red, but we have gray. We're gonna use a super tiny thin layer of it. And this is the high torque stuff, so I think it'll be okay. <laughs> you guys tell me. Glob on each side and then we'll thin it out as even as possible with, with like your finger or something. Or like the paper towel. Thanks for letting us use the garage, Tom. You get the idea. We gotta kind of cover at least a solid. Make a gas. We're making a gasket, you know. Well, yeah. I think I need a little bit more. Okay, well I'll help you out. Just swipe it on. It's fine. Cool. Cause it was literally a paper gasket. Yeah. It was... So I don't feel like too much would. You know what I mean? Like just globbing it on would be a good idea. Like how we did with the um, valve cover. I feel like globbing it on is exactly what you need to do. But I don't know anybody in the comments that wants to give us a little bit more insight. Dispute or refute. Yeah, I, f I just assume you're trying to make it airtight, so water or watertight, so water doesn't get in here and mess up these seals and shit. That sounds like a good idea. I like brakes. Brakes are nice. They it's need their pressure. It's a good safety feature. I think that's good. Internet, if you don't think that's good, let us know. We're putting it on like this, so if we should take it off <laughs> and fix it, let us know. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Well, uh... Wow! There it is! <laughs> that was pretty cool! There it went! There she Wait, is! These are, oh, they're plugged up! So oh, we, we gotta to unplug them. <laughs> the ports. So, see how they're brass? Yes. Yeah. Be careful. We can over tight, we can like mess them up, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we gotta get the painted bolts and stuff now. So much better in here. Holy shit. Dude, people, replace your parts. <laughs> with, with OEM, we got OEM. We paid like thirty extra dollars for this master cylinder. We didn't do it was it, it was from Santa. It was from Santa. But it was worth thirty extra dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. <laughs> we got all four of the nuts on there, and now she's tightening them down, snugging them down. Look at those fitting. <laughs> Which lefty Lucy? I think I'm going left. <laughs> we'll try hand do it the other way. Yeah, we'll try it the other way. <laughs> is it is it going? Uh, I think so. Yes. Let me look. Yeah, is it's it, going. Nope. Yes. It's nope. It's like loose. Does it need to be pushed out? <laughs> okay. No. Let me see. That looks like it might be going. Yeah, I think good. I think I got it. Hopefully this is not just. <laughs> it's like really good, so I don't think it should be, but it could just be because it's fucking brass. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a bitch to Oh my work. god, okay, I'll use that at the end. Jesus freaking Christ. Okay, so we don't need to go all the way because we have, to, we have to be able to bleed it. Now, you get in this one. Oh, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just did. <laughs> fill a cap. Uh, clean fill a cap before removing. What does that mean? I don't know. That's a filter. Oh, so maybe they're like clean this? Yeah, maybe that's what they mean. Yeah. Okay, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna press the pedal down, and while I'm holding the pedal down, you're gonna tighten the brake lines, okay? Hold on. Do you, tell me after I'm finished with this. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me again what I'm doing before okay. you do it. I'm going to push yeah. the pedal, it's going to leak. Yes. As it's leaking, you're going to tighten both fittings. 
At the same time? Yeah. No, actually, literally, you can tighten your tighten one, then tighten the other. Once they're both tight, I'm going to let off the pedal. Okay, uh, the lower one first, you think, and then the top one? Yeah. Okay, so let me get the wrench on one of them, the lower one. I can see, like, it's starting to, like, pump things. Oh, but there's a big air bubble. Yeah, it's trying to get past. Ooh, yes, it's starting to. Yep. I took the freaking wrench on. All right, are you still holding it? Okay, no, I'm still doing the first one. Okay, got the first one, both tight. I see an air bubble. In where the reservoir goes down to the cast iron part, I can see in the elbow. It's not a big one, but it's there. Oh, okay, so we still have more. Okay, it's, oh, okay, that's good, it's showing us. So what we gotta do now, gotta crack them open, press the pedal, close them again. I'll do that a couple times, and it'll be blood. We'll be back. I'm still pressing it. Okay, let off of it. Press it down. Does it feel better? Okay, keep doing it. Does it hold or does it move down? Like hold it all the way down? Does it slowly go down? No. Let me feel it real quick. Okay, let's try this again. I'll tell you when. We'll go. Perfect. That was fucking perfect. It's square brake juice on my board. Brake juice. <laughs> As I can. That's what old Scotty Kilmer said, do it as hard as you can. Dude, everything's all slick because the fucking brake. Alright, let off. Now press it again. How's it feel? Exactly. That's why you gotta use the right tools. You're still holding it, right? Wow, I didn't do a very good job of the paint. It looks a lot better though. Cool. Looks better. Cleaned it up a bit. Doesn't look as rusty. Better. New master cylinders in. We think we bled it. We're gonna start the car and see how the pedal feels. So we realized it was actually bleeding. We saw the liquid go down quite a bit. Adding more liquid and continuing to bleed. We'll update you after it's bled more. Proper garage dog. What a good girl. <laughs>